Political pollster and consultant Stan Greenberg has written a new book, America Ascendant, that takes an optimistic view of the ability of progressives to forge a new governing majority out of today's fractured politics. At an event celebrating the release of America Ascendant at the offices of Democracy Corps, the firm he runs with James Carville, Greenberg explained the key premise of the book. Well, this is about an America that's, I think, a revolutionary nation. And in fact, the changes that are taking place are, you know, are so beyond anything that we've looked at, you know, across, you know, across the economy, across the family, across the, uh, the generations. Um, and it's producing a, a new American majority, but that's like almost less important on how much is changing America, which is, I believe, both economically and culturally dynamic. But it's also, it's very much like the Industrial Revolution, um, which pr brought great prosperity, but also great misery. Um, and the, uh, and the, the issue is, you know, is the country going to address the contradictions that come with our progress? Um, and that's, you know, that's now the challenge of our politics. When are the parties going to catch up to the people? The people are there. I think they are ready for bold reforms. They actually want to start by cleaning up the corrupt politics. Um, and the uh, it's a good sign that the Democrats are beginning to address the kind of issues that are central. Um, but uh, but it's gonna it's gonna take some time. <laughs> well, there's a there is a rolling controversy about whether the progressive mm -hmm. infrastructure politically and so mm -hmm. forth is ready uh, to uh, uh, step in uh, and play the role uh, of mm -hmm. of uh, directing mm -hmm. the country in a new direction, yeah. uh, leading the right. country in a new direction. Yeah. Well, look, it just just remember this. You know, this took two decades when we had a progressive era that began with you know smaller you know steps and bipartisan steps. Um, people were critical of you know of the Follett and the what was done on the state level, as Teddy Roosevelt was. Uh, but it took you know four elections, three presidents to really bring the change we want, and the momentum's building. You just look at the cities, look at the states. Uh, we're you know we're beginning to see the kinds of changes that have to happen, um, and that's where you build the infrastructure. That's where you bring the people uh, you know into this, um, and uh, I think that's what this long-term book is about. I asked Greenberg of some of the setbacks Democrats and progressives suffered in the November 3rd elections, including a loss in the Kentucky's governor's race and a failed bid by Democrats to gain control of the Virginia Senate, altered his view of an ascendant progressive majority. Well, it, I mean, look, it reflects in the short term. I mean, it, the Republican Party is engaged, has been engaged in an intensive counter-revolution against the changes in the country. And with that, they have, have, they have a rationale for participating in elections. What progressives have not done is given have given people a real offer on the kind of change that can come and that they are able to battle for, um, and you have to, you know politics has to matter and the progressives have to have a big you know bigger offer. I think Democrats are building toward that, um, you know. But the we know what's happening on the Republican side, it's progressive infrastructure, but it, but it's also a you know a purpose which is to keep this new American majority from governing successfully. Um, that's a destructive purpose, but it'll, it, it will fail. But, but we pay a very high price in the short term for their winning control of states and um, as we're you know, watching in, the, um, in Virginia and watching what happened in Kentucky. Um, so there's a high price for people in those states. There's a conservative you know, governing model that cuts education, that cuts taxes for the rich uh, and regulation, and the, you know, works to ban abortion. And so uh, um, it fights gay marriage. And so they have their model. But I believe they will be shattered, I think, by the bigger forces that work here. Um, and we have to, you know, to, that's what we ought to keep our eye on, is how we begin to contribute to that and build momentum for that. Thank you. Okay.